As polygamous leader Warren Jeff sits in prison, his mark still remains on his community along the Arizona-Utah border where he led his church. Jeffs is serving a life sentence for sexually assaulting underage girls he considered brides. It was a complete wipeout. You know, it would be like being a very devout Catholic and then finding the pulp molesting little boys in the back of the Vatican. Willie Jessup used to be one of Jeff's most trusted allies, his former bodyguard. He's now trying to erase Jeff's footprint from the community by converting the palatial compound followers built in 2010 before his sentence into a bed and breakfast. The real value for taking this building over was to absolutely see to it this thing was never used for what it was constructed for. Yet other homes and buildings of Jeff's followers sit empty, not fully constructed. Girls in prairie dresses and other followers of Jeff's Fundamentalist Church of Latter-day Saints still believe he speaks for God. Christ was crucified for the very same reason. So who's, who's leading it now, the group? Warren Jeff says. But uncertainty hovers over the town. The state of Utah seized more than 700 homes once under control of the church. Some of Jeff's followers who refused to pay rent to the state have been evicted. The government now faces the messy task of redistributing the properties. Most of the, especially the FLDS population, are not in the home that they built, so they don't have a claim there for having lived there for so many years. Some two dozen residents like Katie Cox have been given the deeds to their home. What they say is a fresh start. To me, it's a symbol of, of freedom. It's a symbol that we are part of this United States, where for so long it, it seemed like we had our own little Soviet Union here or something. Around the corner, the public school recently opened for the first time in 13 years. Who wants, who wants Ted to dress up like Santa Claus? But fewer than 200 of the 1,200 school-aged children in the community attend, something outlawed by the church. A reminder that although he's behind bars, the teachings of Warren Jeff still remained ingrained in this sheltered society. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.